Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the volume of a cylinder. And remember, volume is the amount of space a three-dimensional object takes up. So let's get into our example here where we have a cylinder with a given height of 8 inches and our base has a given radius of 3 inches. So that's the information we need in order to uh, calculate volume of a cylinder. Now we have two formulas at the top of our screen here. They look different, but they mean the exact same thing. So the top one says volume equals a capital B times H. So that capital B means the area of the base times H, which is height. Now the formula below that says volume equals pi r squared, so pi times radius squared times height. Now pi r squared, that's the formula for the area of a circle. So in the case of this cylinder, our base is a circle. So the area of the base, that capital B, expanded out to the formula we're going to use, pi r squared, um, would give us that formula that's below. So they mean the same thing, they just look a little different. So now we plug in our givens, that height and radius of the base, into our formula in order to calculate the volume of this cylinder. So we will come to the side, we'll rewrite our formula, pi times radius squared times height, then we will plug in. So pi times the radius of our base, which is three inches, squared times the height of eight inches. So time to simplify and work our way down to the final answer. So we will do one step at a time here. So three squared would be first, which means three times three, and that gives us nine times the height of eight. So next step, we could do nine times eight, which is 72, and we multiply that by pi. So I put the 72 before the pi because typically when you multiply something by pi, you put the number first. And multiplication is commutative, so you can switch the order of things and still get the same answer. For example, three times two is six, and two times three is six. It doesn't matter the order. So 72 times pi, as far as that goes, I'm going to use the pi button on my calculator when I punch this in. If you are using the approximate or rounded pi, 3.14, which is common to do, you may get a slightly different answer than me, but you are still correct. You just use the rounded version of pi. So once I punch that in, I get a uh, pretty long decimal there, so I'm going to round it to the hundredths place. Again, I'm rounding my answer to the hundredths place, and I get 226 and 19 hundredths. And this is volume, so we use cubic inches. Or, I'm sorry, cubic whatever the unit of measure is, and in this case, we were working with inches. So cubic inches, so volume equals 226 and 19 hundredths, cubic inches. So there's how you find the volume of a cylinder. We found the area of the base and multiplied it by the height. Now our base was a circle, so we used pi r squared in order to calculate the area of our base and multiplied it by the height. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.